in 2002 a richly deserved honor. Our final inductee for the Philadelphia Sports Hall of Fame class of 2011, Philadelphia basketball legend, William Speedy Mark. Makes you sound so good, so much better than you are. Uh, Dan, I would like you to get my eulogy. <laughs> <laughs> Even referees will leave thinking, hey, he was a pretty good guy. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate Ken Avalon and uh, his superb committee on the great job that they've done with the Philadelphia Sports Hall of Fame. Each year they've come up with an extraordinary class, and this year is no exception. It's an honor for me to be inducted with. So many great athletes who I watched, I cheered for, and I admired over the years. And one of the great electronic media guys of all time, Al Big Al Meltzer, who I've always been a great fan of. You know, when you walk in, I said, I stand. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, Stephen Ed Sable, uh, what do you say about, about them? I mean, the, the NFL films, uh, I mean, the, it's a work of genius what they've done. Um, we talked about voices and another stroke of genius was hired. Ray Dinger is one of the best. Uh, so I'm very, very ecstatic to be going in with these great people. Um, they say the apple doesn't fall, fall far from the tree. In, in my case, it, it may as well roll down Mount Everest. Uh, my dad uh, went to St. Joe's Prep. He played football, basketball, baseball. Not only played, he excelled. In the late 20s, he was all classic in all three sports, which is equivalent to all city today. He went on St. Joseph College. He was quarterback on the football team. He was uh, third baseman on the baseball team and uh, guard on the basketball team. He was captain of two of those three sports. I remember, I uh, just want to give you a little bit, uh, 1954, uh, my dad, and we didn't have a TV yet. I, I was 12 years old. Uh, I listened, and we listened to the South College back then, and a great time in Goa, uh, winning the NCAA championship. Bradley. That's that's one that I was going to be a great basketball player. That's all I wanted to do. Tom Gold was, was my idol. And later on in life, we became great friends. My wife and I, Caroline, his great wife. And it's a shame what happened to Tom. Uh, he's not doing well enough right now, but he was one of the greatest players ever. And I became we became great friends with him. But we after we I told my dad, I said, I'm going to be another Tom Gold. And he said, Well, just just do your best. That's all you can do. Just do your best. And uh, later. Two years later, I went out for the eighth grade basketball team and got cut. But uh, the coach didn't know what he was doing. I went to Rome, I was going to be an all Catholic. There's no question in my mind, I was going to be an all Catholic basketball player. Freshman year, I got cut. Sophomore year, I got cut. But junior year, I got cut. We had a new coach, Fran McMenamin, who was a uh, very good player at the South. And I went to Fran McMenamin and I said, Coach, I said, uh, we had a lot of guys try out. I think I didn't get a fair shake. Uh, can I try that again? He was a great guy, a lot of sympathy. So he said, Sure. And he kept me. And here I was, I'm going to play basketball. That's what I, my dream was going to come true. And uh, we, we, we had a bad team. Uh, we were, I was 27. <laughs> I was the 15th man on that 15th team. I'd be losing my 30 and 40 points. I still, I still, my teammates used to call me the judge. I was on the bench. But true story, I finally got over down about 32 points late in the game. I got the ball top of the key. I drove down the lane. And I got called for three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I clicked. Be a coach. Be a coach. <laughs> and I did. And I, 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 I tell you, uh, uh, I've been blessed. I mean, to coach at Roman Catholic High School, Penn Charter, Passat University, and St. Joseph Prep. It's just—it's been a dream, uh, a lifelong dream. Uh, two of the greatest schools in history: the Catholic League, Roman, and the Prep. And I've been fortunate to be able to coach. There. And any success I've had, needless to say, is because of the great players I've had. So many great kids, so many, some of my best players are people who played for me, young guys that played for me. Uh, I'm just a very, very fortunate guy. I have a couple of my prep guys here, uh, Kevin Oblis and Steve Pistoria, and we're going to be very good next year. And uh, because of these two guys, we're going to be two of the guys who are going to be used to uh, some good things. But um, everywhere I've been, I've been blessed. Uh, Sound University has been very, very good to me. I have many fond memories. Uh, we did uh, a standpoint now, we had a lot of success until someone made the decision to leave the MAC and go to another conference. Uh, and it didn't work out well. <laughs> it didn't work out well. But uh, still, I, I love the South, I love the people there, and uh, I'm fortunate to be able to say I coached in the Big Five. And I coached uh, against some great coaches who are 
terrific friends. I've had so many great assistant coaches. Uh, my first, how about this? My first new coaches when I played the men's I was Fran Dunphy and Jim Hale. How can you go along with those two guys? Fran left me two years ago in the pen. I, I still don't forgive him for that. But uh, I love him. But I started out with those two guys and my assistant coaches. Everywhere I've been, I've got Doug Grossi out here from uh, St. Joe's Prep. He's been very loyal. And, uh, they, they, it's just been great. You can't win without dedicated people behind you and with you and doing things for you and uh, motivating the kids along with you. And I've, I've had the best assistant coaches. So I've, I'm truly, truly very, very fortunate. And finally, my family, you can't, I, I don't think you'd be successful without the support of your family. I have four great kids, six great kids. My, my uh, kids could not be here today. Keith, who's an associate head coach, is a member guest at Cricket Club. Uh, you, you couldn't get out of that. And, I have another son who's coaching today, you go ball in Orlando today. And, uh, another son who's an actor, comedian, he's got a big part in the play, a lead part in the play in up in New York, yeah, Don Gio, it's called, and he's been preparing to do that in, in a week or so. And my daughter's a, uh, she's got three little guys running around, she's a school teacher, so she's going to them. But most importantly, my wife, my best friend, is a uh, great support that she's given me. Uh, I'll never, never be able to thank her. But to all, all the fellow inductees and your families, congratulations.